Over the last couple of years, Nat had grown from a simple country girl to a high-flying businesswoman. With some careful planning and cold-hearted ruthlessness, she now owned a lovely house in her hometown, plus a nice bar in Bangkok. Jason, her business partner, was still in the background, but over the last year his business had kept him working and the personal relationship between them had taken a back seat. He was fine as he still earned some money from the bar. Nat had met a new man, Mike, and things were going really well. They had fallen for each other and it looked like true love was in the air. Mike had been coming back and forth to Thailand over the last year and spent most of his time staying at Nat's condo. Things were getting serious and Mike was now thinking about the future. So baby, you know, I love you, right? I've been thinking about things and how would you like to come back to the UK with me? Oh, wow. Yes, sounds very good. I love to go to England. You know, I still have my house there, which is fairly nice. Okay, and what about me? What would I do there? Well, I still have my job and maybe you can help at one of the Thai restaurants there. Mike was working as a taxi driver, so he had fairly flexible hours. He knew many people and was sure he could find something for Nat. Oh wow, it sounds great. When you want to go? Well, it's now June and there'll be a lot to sort, so maybe we can plan for early next year. Oh wow, I'm so happy baby, that sounds great. Mike was here in Thailand for another few months until September when he had to go back for his taxi contract. He was over the moon and imagining his life in the UK with a lovely Thai woman. The more he thought about it, the happier he was. He was in love with Nat and wanted to make it more permanent. That's it, he decided that he would ask her to marry him. A few days went by and he had made plans to propose to Nat. A romantic night at Asia Teak and a proposal on the big wheel. Oh baby, this is so lovely. You are so romantic. Thanks babe, you know I love you. Maybe after dinner we can go on the big wheel. Oh yes, I love that. They strolled along the waterfront and headed towards the big wheel. Mike had the ring in his pocket and he was getting ready for the big proposal. Oh wow, look at the view, it's beautiful. You know you are gorgeous. Nat, you know I love you. Oh, thank you. Nat, will you marry me? Oh, babe, really? Wow, yes, I love you so much. They were over the moon and Mike's heart was pumping. They enjoyed the rest of the evening and headed home. The next day, Nat couldn't wait to tell her family. She called home and told them the news. Ma, I am getting married. He loves me. This meant only one thing. A party was now in order. You know, Bev, my family is so happy. But I must show my family you are a good man. We must do properly and we need to have a ceremony back home, okay? Okay, what do we need to do to get married? It's so easy here. First, we just go to the police station and register. Just take one day and finish. Then we can do proper party uh, for my family in my village. Ah, okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, Tulak. I make an appointment at the Emperor and we go together for register, okay? Okay, great. Oh, and uh, baby, you will need to do a sinsop. Sinsop? What's that? Um, you have to pay my family to take me away. Uh, normally, you give go and money. Oh really? Do I have to? 
Yes, baby is a traditional and give my family face when I married a foreigner. Very important. You need to give something good, okay? Maybe five baht, go. Mike was a little shocked, but he knew he had to keep the traditions and give her family face. This was going to be expensive, but she was worth it. Over the next few weeks, Nat made plans with the family and friends, and things were well and truly underway. She took Mike to the gold shop to start looking for the sin sock. Oh, babe, so many nice things. Mmm, yeah. Here, baby, I think this is good. You okay? It looked expensive. He could feel the pain coming. Nat looked around and found some nice gold necklaces as well as some bracelets and rings. Here, baby, I think this is good. You okay? Okay, what's the total? Mike was shocked, but he'd been saving up ready for this day. And with that, they headed off to continue shopping. You know, babe, we need to buy the cow for the party and plan the menu. You okay with that? You mean a whole cow? Yes, maybe. Not expensive, but it's good. Mike was not too bothered about the wedding plans. He just left it to Nat. The wedding party was set for August the 17th, which was two weeks before Mike went back. Mike was about to become a happily married man. He has a few weeks left of being single. Time to celebrate.